a vessel displacing 9000 ton has a rectangular tank 12 meter long 10 meter wide and 9 meter deep full of salt water the km is a 7 meter and kg is a 6 meter find the gm when one third of the tank is pumped out so here suppose this is the vessel and this vessel is having a tank which is 10 meter like this and 12 meter long 10 meter wide and 9 meter deep the word deep tank means the tank is so deep that it is going up to the keel or it starts from keel and is pretty high or deep down till the keel and one third of the tank is pumped out so the tank was initially filled and now the tank is pumped out that means the tank is slack the tank is slack that means the tank is slack and if the tank is slack or partly filled partly filled the tank will have free surface effect or free surface correction the value of gm needs to be corrected accordingly now first find out how much water is pumped out so this is the shaded region where uh, which uh, indicates that this is the water pumped out so the water pumped out is one third into the total dimension of the tank which is 12 into 10 into 9 into 1.025 so this is the volume actually this is volume and this is a relative density We know this formula that density is equal to mass over volume so mass is equal to volume into density so we use this this is the volume and instead of density I have taken relative density which is 1.025 this is the value of salt water relative density now we need to work out what is the center of gravity what is the distance of center of gravity of this weight or discharge well we can assume that this was the total weight and it was a discharge from this point so what is going to be the effect on center of gravity so this is the center of gravity and the total height was 9 meter let me just go up here the total height of the tank was 9 meter here and one third is discharge so let's come back here this was 9 meter one third is discharge that means this 3 meter is gone so the distance of the center of gravity from this line is only 1.5 meter but the distance of the center of gravity distance of this center of gravity from keel will be this distance plus 1.5 meter so 1.5 meter plus 6 is equal to 7.5 meter that is the distance of this weight a discharge let's also find out what is FSM that is free surface movement well the free surface movement is calculated by I which is moment of inertia into di which is density of liquid inside the tank so the value of I is L B Q by 12 L has been 12 meter breadth is 10 divided by 12 this is uh, the value of uh, lb cube by 12 this is the value of i and we multiply this by 1.025 though we get this 1025 turn meter that is free surface moment now in order to emphasize what was the value of l 
and what was the L value of B let's just have a look here length was uh, 12 meter and the breadth B was 10 meter and that is what exactly I used here so let's have this very interesting table which says remark and this column is weight we'll talk about weight and this is the distance from keel so we are going to take the moment about keel and this is vertical moment so let's talk about ship the vessel was having 9000 ton displacement the kg of the vessel was 6 meter let's verify again in the problem kg km is 7 meter and kg is 6 meter displacement is uh, 9000 well so we will have this vertical moment here which is the product of 9000 multiplied by 6 so I'm going to get how much well I don't need any Kelsey for that 6 0 0 0 3 times 0 and 9 6 uh, 54 so 54 thousand ton meter that is the vertical moment now we deballasted the quantity of the ballast is 369 and the distance from keel we have already calculated which is 7.5 meter from here the distance is 7.5 and the weight is 369 here so this is discharged that means I need to subtract minus and on the vertical moment also if I am discharging I need to subtract I need to calculate now vertical moment which is going to be 369 multiplied by 7.5 is equal to yeah just let me write it exactly 27 six seven point five it is just the multiplication of 369 into seven point five now theoretically what is the effect of a free surface movement well free surface movement reduces the GM and here on the vertical movement and there is an introductory video which talks about that if this was k and this was g and this was m so this was gm and that was solid however because of vertical movement there is a shift vertical sh loss of gm so the ggv is a fsc or virtual loss of gm which is trying to reduce my matter centric height and that will happen so i have free surface movement and i can apply directly free surface movement and that I need to add this but if I add this value my G will go up my G will go up and that is what is happening here let me repeat here initially the center of gravity of the vessel was at capital G but if there is free surface effect this G is shifted to GGV so net effect is the center of gravity is rising and that will happen when I need to add this vertical movement so let's find out what is my final displacement so the final displacement here 9000 9000 minus 369 so I get 8631 so let me just put it here 8 6 3 1 ton that is the final uh, displacement now let's work on what will be the vertical movement well it is 54,000 minus 2 7 6 7 point 5 plus one zero two five so I get this value final vertical moment as five two two five seven point five ton meter 
that will be in turn meter and the final displacement will be in turn so the value of final kg and this is include this fluid also so i can say final so the value of final kg is final vertical movement divided by final displacement so i'm going to do, divide this 5227.5 divided by 8631 i'll use the calculator all i have to do just divide this by 8631 so i get this 6.0546 well i can round off to 5 i think that will make sense also so instead of 4 i will just write 5 6.055 meter so the gm fluid will be km minus kg fluid kg fluid is 6.055 and the value of km in the problem is 7 meter so i need to do now 7 meter let me just keep it this way yeah the k value of km is going to be 7 meter minus 6.055 which will give me let me just do this 7 meter minus 6.055 will give me 0.945 meter